Hi. Hello. You hear about the new guy? No. I foresaw this happening. Who is that? It me, Magic Frog, knower of all the things. Like what? Blep. I see the future. I am all knowing. Blep. Greetings. Well, who are you? The new guy. Hypnotoad. Well, 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 we meet again. Milm, my dude. You guys met? Blep, you might say we've gotten the finished business. business. This is weird. Milm. Okay, so yes, I did get a new pet. I got a Fowler's Toad which I did catch myself outside. So I know a lot of you guys might be against wild caught animals. I am too for certain things, but toads are kind of widely accepted and there's a couple reasons why. Their populations are really doing fine in the wild, so you don't have to worry about that decreasing. They also lay about a thousand eggs and even though all of them don't usually survive, a majority of them do. So the populations are doing fine in my area. I did read a little bit on them in Canada. I think there's an area that they're not so great in right now, but we are all the way in Missouri, so it is fine. It's also illegal in some states to catch and keep wild animals. Here in Missouri, you're allowed a certain number to keep without a permit, so I am under that number. Another reason why toads are usually captured in the wild, we don't really have any populations in the pet trade. Nobody's breeding them in captivity. I'm not really sure why that is, but it's just not something that you ever see at shows or anything like that. Personally, I've never seen them for sale. So if you wanna keep a toad, basically you have to just go find it yourself, whether it be a Fowler's toad or an American toad. Do I exactly condone that? No, but if you are like these conditions, if you're familiar with the species and you know how to keep them, trying to, <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. As long as you're not removing them out of their environment for profit. Yeah, it's illegal, I think. Well, that's definitely illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like Go Herping said in his toad video, he's like, maybe we should just put everybody's names in a hat and then we'll just kind of draw a couple and those couple are allowed to go catch a toad. I don't know. But with wild caught animals, of course, there are possible issues. So this is already an adult. I know it's really small. They actually are relatively small toads, smaller than the American toad. So seeing as how it's already an adult, I don't know how old it is. I don't know how long it will live, but that is just one con. Another is that they can carry parasites and other issues like that. So obviously you're not going to want to take the toad and like put it around your snakes or anything like that for a while. You should kind of quarantine them for a bit. Fortunately, this little toad pooped as soon as I got it. And I did kind of like take a good look at the poop to see if there was like any parasites or anything in it. It looked good to the naked eye, but I don't have a microscope so I couldn't tell you for sure. So uh, let's talk about how I housed the toad. <laughs> Hopefully we're not going to jump out. And as you see, its color has changed quite a bit from when I posted it on Instagram. That's because they change due to a lot of reasons, humidity, temperatures, and even to match their surrounding environments. So I'm wondering if when I start putting some more plants in here, I'm thinking something colorful too, but we'll see what I can do. But um, it will actually change color. I used this wooden hide because that's what I had on hand, but I have really bad luck with these molding and as you see it's already started to mold so I'm gonna have to go to one of the pet shops and get the plastic version of this so that we won't have this issue. It's so irritating, I hate that that happens with these. I also just used a plastic pot, I think I got a whole bunch of these from Dollar Tree in like a pack. And then this is the water dish that literally constantly is getting filled up with leaves constantly. He or she really loves to put leaves in its water. So, okay. So these are not like frogs, so they're not going to rely on the water as much, but you do want to keep the humidity up a little bit. You don't really want bone dry substrate. They don't like that. 
so far I've noticed that it's a really good eater. So yeah, I named him or her Java, <laughs> Java, which is creation for toad or frog. The reason why I named it that is because I showed the dark den a picture of it when I caught it and he called it a frog and I jokingly said, shame on you, this is not a frog, it's a toad. And then he told me that in creation, the word for frog is the same for toad, so it's Java, and I thought, okay, I'll just name it that. But <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've just pretty much been calling it Hypno Toad, and I call Ruby my tomato frog, magic frog all the time, so we have Hypno Toad and magic frog. <laughs> I don't know why. I even named them anything else because that's pretty much all I call them, but whatever. So yeah, that is my new Fowler's Toad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I end it though, I do have a package. I got this package in the mail and we're gonna open it really quick. I haven't been checking my PO box that much. I kind of forgot about it for a minute, not gonna lie. So if, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry that it took this long to unbox this. I'll hold it like this. I have this little box. Should I read the note first or should I open the little box first? I think I'll read the note first. So yeah, if you guys want to send me mail, I am behind on answering. I pretty much answer every piece of mail that I get. So this is my PO box address. I've been really far behind though, so I'm so sorry if I have not written you back. This is a really long one. I'm gonna read it really quick. And they say that they have their first five tarantulas that have been acquired over the past three months. Thank you so much. Let's find out. Let's see what they look like. Ooh. These are so cute. Oh my God. I can get this. I was able to get them in. Oh my gosh, I love these. They are so cute. I don't know how good you guys can see these, but I love them. These are my new favorite pair of earrings. Thank you so much, Amy. All right, and I guess that is it for this video. I know it wasn't spiders, but sometimes I like to mix it up and I do have other animals that I also love. So I just wanted to show you guys my new toad and talk about it a little bit because Hypno Toad is super cool and Magic Frog is too. I seriously love them so much and I watch that frog commentary channel way too much. Like this video if you enjoy, subscribe if you are not. And don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.
Thank you.